We're at the Bear Brew in downtown Orono for our countdown this evening. We're doing the top five local beers. So we're talking about micro brews from the state of Maine. The state of Maine has a lot of different, unique types of beers to offer, so we're going to start sampling them, and uh, this should definitely be fun. Starting off our countdown at number five, we have Black Bear Brewery's Harvest IPA. Um, the IPA is used with Cascade hops, and what makes this unique is during the brewing process, the hops are still wet when they're thrown in. They're picked fresh and thrown in, so it gives it a smooth taste. I'm not a big IPA fan, but it works. And at just over 6% alcohol volume, you definitely know you're drinking a beer. At number four, we have another Black Bear Brewery. This one is the Pale Ale. Spelled P-A-I-L, not P-A-L-E. Uh, the name comes from the artwork in relation to this beer. It was actually a bear carrying a pail of beer. So the brewers named it Pale Ale, P-A-I-L. This is a borderline IPA. It's a little smoother than the Harvest IPA. And um, as you can tell, it's a little bit lighter than the other one. But uh, another strong performance by the Black Bear Brewing Company. Halfway through the countdown at number three, we go to the bottle with the Bar Harbor Real Ale, brewed by the Atlantic Brewing Company, which is located in Bar Harbor but has breweries in Portland and Bar Harbor. So this is brewed um, at a few different locations around the state. As you can tell, it's a darker beer with a reddish tint to it. It's a very heavy beer, very hoppy, um, very flavorful and a very unique taste. It won't be for everybody because of the taste and, and how, how heavy it is and how dark, but... It's a very unique taste and uh, it's a good compliment to add to the selection of, of main beers. At number two on the list we have the Allagash White. It's a Belgian white beer brewed in Portland, Maine by Allagash Brewing Company. As you can see the look to it, it's a very light beer but it's also very cloudy. You can't even, you can't see through it. I can't see my fingers right now. Um, so it's more of a summer drink. It has a very piney taste but if you're a connoisseur of the white beer and the lighter, and the lighter toned beer, um, I definitely suggest trying this. It has a very unique taste, almost like a, like a pine cone or a pine tree. It's, it's very distinct, but it's good. Number one on our list is perhaps the most anticipated seasonal beer in Maine. It's Shipyard's Pumpkinhead, brewed right in Portland, Maine, which actually has no pumpkin in it. A lot of people think it has pumpkin, it's a pumpkin head, but it has no pumpkin in it. It's, spi it's flavored with pumpkin spices like nutmeg and cinnamon, but they don't have any pumpkin in it. Um, it's a very flavorful, very tasteful beer. You can do a lot. It's very versatile too. You can do a lot of things with it. Some people like to add Guinness to it. Some people like to throw a shot of Captain Morgan's in it. Some people like to put cinnamon around the rim of it. So it's a good beer. It's perfect for the season, and uh, you can do a lot of different things for it, which makes it a favorite and makes it certainly worthy of the top spot on our countdown. You can really tell a lot about a region, a state, or an area, or the type of beer that they brew. And the state of Maine certainly offers a unique variety. We had the Harvest IPA right here. We had the Pale Ale right here. Both of these brewed by Black Bear Brewing Company, maybe 200 feet from where I'm sitting right now. Number three, we had the Bar Harbor Real Ale. Very distinct, probably the most unique tasting beer out of the, out of the bunch. And number two, we had the Allagash White, a nice summer beer, very piney taste. And uh, if you're a white beer fan, definitely recommend that. And number one, of course, was Pumpkinhead by Shipyard Brewed right in Portland, Maine perfect beer to, for the seasons. Um, as you can see, there's a wide variety of, of beers that the state has to offer, and I guess we're done here.